that is the that is the list of that is that is the that is the <laughs> and so that is the list of what we can we can answer. But uh, if if we say because the the question is brother, why do we spend time? And you are answering, we spend time with God to communicate with Him. Yes, because we are praying. Prayer is communication, but we communicate. What is the motive of our communication to God? This is the this is the factual. This is the fact. Actually, here we will get the answer of why we do spend time with God. If we communicate, you communicate with someone for what? Baba Mutom. Kwa nini tuna ma, ma, kwa nini tuna tunakuyaka mbele za Mungu tunapoteza tuna hatupoteze muda lakini tunampa Mungu muda wetu kama vile leo ni overnight ni usiku wote tumeomba juu ya nini watu wanakitoa kwa Mungu kuja kuomba Sio communique na ndio vile nao wanasema kweli ndio tunacommunicate na Mungu lakini shabaha ya kucommunicate na Mungu ni gani yetu what is the motive? Kumushukuru Mungu. She says the motive could be to, to, to worship God, to thank God. Yes, that could be one of it. But not the, the real one. That's true. The, the, the real one is, uh, is to say or negative. To be in connection means you always confess when you pray. Mm. You need forgiveness. Mm. Uh, as long as you are connected, God will forgive you. And again, I will ask the same question. Yeah. Why? What is the motive of connecting with you? Being connection, you want like uh, you want to you to give you a life, which is the life He promised for all that a lasting life, you can get it if you are not connected to God. Yeah, actually, you are not yeah, actually you are you are about to reach there. You are on a on the right way to reach there. And asema kwamba ili mtu aweze kupata uzima wa milele, aunganishwe na Mungu, aongee na Mungu sababu ya kutafuta uzima wa milele. Labda hiyo ni njia. Me there we are now on the way to heaven. But the question still is there, because we are still on the east. I will come back. It is one of the response, but I will come back with the question again. Why not? We, when we are on the way to heaven, but we are still here on the east, why do we spend time with God? Mm. Actually, it is true. That's why we come before his presence. He, because he's our master. Yes. If he did not do anything on the cross, if he can't nothing, if there is no interest in him for us to come to him, so we don't have to come here to pray. I will come back with the same question again. Why now? I'll say my way. I to yeah, yeah. Because God is the priority in our life. Because God is a priority in our life. He's a number one in, in yeah. another number. He is a number one. And he's willing to spend time with him because he is the number one in our life. Yeah. Yes. That, that's also a very good good answer. <laughs> and I said, yeah, it's my mama, kwamba tunakuja kumpa bwana muda kwa kuwa yeye ni bwana wa maisha yetu, na bwana wa mwokozi wa maisha yetu. Hakuna kitu mwingine kama yeye. Ile ni kweli, ndio kwa maana tunakuja ndani ya kanisa kumuomba. Yeye ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yetu. Si ndio? Ame yeye ni mwokozi wa kila mtu. Na sisi tunamuomba sababu ni mwokozi wetu. Na anasema kwamba ni sababu anasema tena kwamba ni sababu yeye ni numero 1 eh, kwa maisha yetu. Dayana uko una una uko sire nabo. 
kwa nini tunakuja mbele ya Mungu kumpa muda wetu when we spend time with god i will come back with it again the same question truly what we are saying is true brother he's number one. that's why when he's number one, we prioritize, we prioritize him man what is the motive of, of our, pri- pri- uh, our our priority uh, another one is uh, to the reason why we spend time with God, another one is when we draw closer to God, mm. it's good to know who He is. Yeah. So if you spend time, you will know who He is. Yes. Yeah. Which God He is. Yeah, you will learn to know Him. Yeah. Anasema kwamba uki ukiweka muda ndani yake uta utamujua actually because when you come close to someone you will know how he saw that person he behaves how he thinks about you without even him saying anything to you without him saying anything to you just the more you spend time with that person you may know how he and how that person is. But still, I will come with the same question. Why do we spend time with this person? Hmm? To save ourselves. Yes, actually, they are very good answers. Kwamba, Ye ametuokoa kwamba okoe roho zetu to save our soul is good answer okay. that's why that, that's why we love him that is the love you love the person eh. you love god that's why we spend time because we love him yeah actually i will never approach anyone i don't love I will always spend time with someone I love. Yeah. But still, I will come with the same question: Why spending time with this person? Because of love. Because he chose us to be there. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, interest. Can, can you see now the debate is bringing languages even. She has never spoken English the first time. She <laughs> she can understand English. I can understand English. <laughs> amen, amen. <laughs> yeah. Actually, another one also uh, is guidance. Guidance. Guidance, yeah. When we communicate uh, to God, we need his guidance. We, we clap for him. Actually, that is the right answer. That's the right answer. That is number one. Why do we spend time with God? We spend time with God because we need his direction. We need his guidance. That is the reason why we spend time with God. Without God, our lives are nothing here on the earth. You know, you can communicate with the person and you don't need him to interfere in your affair. Unaweza kuongea na mtu mamuto, unapana hata jurne ya kulae, lakini naviyake niviyake na viyako niviyako. Unamusikiliza tu, naso unafika kuwa kwa nafanya viyako na kesho mutakutana tena. Lakini, wakati uko na kenye kina tumo ule mtu unapoteza muda sababu una kenyo na mtaka ako yani mtu mwenye una mimia una kenyo na mtaka ako unataka kuongoza una mtaka ako structure ya kutembele amen eh? we spend time with God because I was saying this number one as you were, you were answering you can spend time with somebody, you talk to him, you communicate with him, and you don't need any guidance of his. 
His things remain, he thinks, and your things remain, he thinks, your thing. When you are together in the same, on the same field, you are talking together, you are bringing each and everything. He can listen to you, you can listen to him, but still when you go home, you do your things as you want because you don't need nothing of him. You can listen to him. Even you can even reach to mock at him or to laugh at him because you are not interested in him interfering in your affairs. That can be. But uh, that, is to, that is what we call to waste time. Iyo ndo tunasemaka kupoteza mtu. Ukienda na mtu, lakini ule mtu hauna kenye kimetungo na mfuatu. Unaenda kuongea tunai. You just go to communicate with people. That, that, is, that is a lose of focus. Ewa, hmm? amorte. We, me to be friend with you, but we are, we are just friends. We, we communicate just. We meet and communicate. We have nothing. We have no no structure to follow. I have nothing I I I, I can gain on your side. You have nothing you gain on my side. We just communicate. That is that 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 has no interest. But we go to God. You are, we become good friends. We spend time. A person we spend time together is because of something you want to that person. We know the value of that person. We know that person what he can. We know what we can gain from that person. We have learned who he is. We have understood, we have understood who he is, what he can. And because it's what we can't, we need his guidance. That's number one. Take your Bible, we read it. We read it. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter three, verse five to six. Proverbs. Ugona kitabu pale chako cha cha vivilia mam. Proverbs chapter five, chapter three, verse five to six. The Bible says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not learn on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths." <laughs> do we understand this? This is actually the reason why we spend time with God. To learn from him. That's why I tell you, I ever tell you here in church, Mamu Tom, Nina Semaka even Mamma, Baba. Where Kukwana Rafiki Mwenya Hawes Pata Kwen Tere Yut. Hakuna Kiwana don't profit ya kule contra way to an akiaka way or na ule rafiki way to an andaka. Na wana jo kwamba badu na hitaj. Yan ule mutu awazu kusaid ya kukomala kiro. Kama ni kanisa ili or kanisa na indaka mu hai kusaid ya cho chot. We hai ya kwa kiro iko ju ya ule mutu mwenye iko fa. Hai kusaid ya cho chot. Hawazu kobala fa. Uta wakia debi. If you, if you, I'm saying this. If you become a friend with somebody whom you can't gain nothing from him. If you spend your time in a church where your spiritual level is, is higher than theirs, and you still need to grow, you have not yet reached your level, you still need to grow, you will remain baby, baby, a spiritual baby, a baby in a spirit, because nothing will, will you will gain there. But when you want to go further, you look for people that you can learn something through them. And that's why we need God in our lives to learn something through God. Are we together? That's why Joko Amana proverb au mezali na tuambia tatu tano yake mpaka sita ya kwamba uko na kiswahili pale tusome eti trust in the Lord Eti wamini mungu na moyo wako wote na akili yako yote. Na usijifunze kutoka akili yako we mwenyewe. Lakini kwa njia zote ujue kwamba yeye ule mungu, ye njo anakupatia nguvu na kunyosha njia zako. Ambayo wewe hawezi ye njo anaifani. Njo kwa mana tunapoteza munda na ule mungu. Kwa mana tunajua yeye ni nani tapata nini kwa tunajua tuko wagonjwa ile mgonjwa magonjwa mganga hawezi yeye anaweza because we know what 
a doctor cannot do, he can do it for us. The peace that a man that, 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 that a man cannot give us, that the world cannot give us, he can provide it for us. A situation, a jail in which we, in, in which we can't get out, but he can open the doors like he did for Paul and Silas for us. Amen. Eh? He's a God of impossibility. That's why we spend time with him. He's our creator. He's our creator. He created us and his own image as you responded before. That's why we love him. We spend time with him because we need such a person who knows everything, who can anything, who is able, 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 able of anything, capable to do anything, to spend time, to learn from him, how to heal people, how to, how to, <laughs> how to possess, how to be blessed, how to bless others, to learn from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Psalms, uh, we go, we take again Psalms 32, 8, Psalms 32, 8 in the same book. The Bible says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. When number one, he directs us, in directing us, he watches us, means we into his presence. We are talking to him, with him. Yeah, he's watching in our eyes. <laughs> this, is what, this is what Psalms 32 8 says. We come back, so we turn there with it, and we come back, and we come back to Angalia Mumachi, and we come back to Nai, and we come back to Nai. That is why your, your, pray, your, your answer, you answered saying that to communicate is good. That's why we are in his presence. But what is the motive? Is that he leads, leads us, he guides us. Now, and that's why he said here that he, he will instruct us. The book of, of, of Psalms comes again. In Arugia, send up some men at Wambia, Kwamba, Daud and at Wambia. Kwakua Mungu, Anna, Anna Tupatia, Chi. Katika will remember. Kama Hakuna Mungu, Hakuna Chi. I want what to understand. We may develop a system and Nini, 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 in technology, in whatever in system, is because God has provided this tech, this this tenacity, this intelligence to those people. Without God, no man's intelligence. He's the intelligence provider. He's a creator. He knows how every system of the of the of the of the body functions. He's only the one who can do what a man can't do. Amen. Eh? And when you go in Isaiah 43, 16, 19. Isaiah 43, 16, 19. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the who makes a way in the sea, a path in, a, in, the, in the mighty, in the mighty water, who brings forth chariot and horse, and army and warriors, they lie down, they cannot rise, they, they are ex extinguished. Quainted like a witch. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it, now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Praise the Lord. Anasema ni mungu uli ambaye anafanya njia kwenye hakuna njia. Ambaye akiambia minyama shuka unashuka. Panda unapanda. Nenda unaenda. Mwilima akiwambia shuka unashuka. Akisema ni naharibu anaharibu. Ule mungu ambaye anaweza ni hoti. Hallelujah. Anasema anaweka njia hata ndani ya bahari. Hata katika shangwa. Kwenye wewe hau. The place where you don't have 
any hope. The hope we don't have help, hope anymore. That the situation my brother was saying here, brother Morrison, you remember, eh? where you you think there's no more hope, and as God has also revealed this here, Amen. Eh? You know the only this this is the person to go to spend time with. I think you have now a response on why you are spending time here rather than rather than home. Is because that God we pray here, He makes a way with you, and there's no way, Mama. That's why you are spending your all your sleep the whole night today here. Is because that God He can do what your man, your husband, your children, what your intelligence cannot provide for you. He opens the door where there's he puts a door where there's no way, no, no door, a window where there's no window. He creates a way where there's no way. He opened the Red Sea, uh, dry, 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 dry road in the sea. And the children of Israel, they crossed over. Hallelujah. He shall make a way for you too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, number two. Number two. Why again do you think we spend time with God? Come with a, with another with another response, which could be number two. Why do we spend time with God again? Darapil, mujaribu kujifunza tena, kusikufikiria tena. Kwa nini tuna protect, tuna tuna atupoteza munda? Lakini kwa nini tuna mupa munda mungu wetu munda? Unakata kusinzia tani kwe mbongo ni kasema inaenda tu kuomba. Amweke ni kwe ndani hospitali, lakini inaenda tu mbele mungu. Where you say, unless I'm, in, I'm, I'm admitted in the way I'm hospitalized, there I have no, no choice. I can't go before the presence of the Lord and I'm in the hospital. But as long as I'm not in the hospital, even if I'm sick, I'm going to seek for the face of the Lord. Huh? Why again, number two? Why what what could be number two reason? Yes, come with mama. All the response you can you can you could understand they are they are all right, but the, the, the rightest one uh, we, we we come after blessing to bless. We need blessing, we need blessing <laughs> that could be one of it, but actually, it's not the number two one. What could be one of it? Mm. 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 Yeah, and she, she says this that it is. To, we are like she's here. She could. She she was sick, and we are testifying. Some of, some of us also. We were all sick, but we decided to go before the presence of the Lord. And you have testified, many of you here, that you got healed. This is one of the reasons that we come before the presence of the Lord. How can we interpret this in one word? That is true. Ego queen. But how do we put it in one word? Faith. To get faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come before the presence of the God. We have faith. That actually, that's why when we are sick, we come before the because we know He can heal us. But how, how do we put it in one word? Healing. We come to Him because of healing. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. Mm. You said the first one is guiding. This is direction. Yes. Uh, the second reason. Uh, what she said is true. Can you listen to my prayer? Like in, how do we put I it in? Guess, I guess again, forgiveness. We need forgiveness. Actually, it's not right. Forgiveness, yes. If we say about, talk about forgiveness, it's true, but uh, we have already got forgiveness on the cross. Jesus has forgiven us. To die for us, he has given us forgiveness. But we need to work for it to, be, to, be, to get the holiness for us. But that forgiveness of sins, he took our sins on the cross. But our work is to work to remain holy for him to go to heaven. What could be in one word? I'm coming with a question again. The number one, why do we spend time with God? Question number two, what she said was true. But how do we summarize it? Can you say my prayer? Let me... Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, to honor him, to honor his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, his, his majesty. That's true. It is one of it, to honor him. It's like to thank him, to honor him because he, he deserves honor, because he created us. But why? Which motive? He's the one that helps us. He's, now, he's the helper, yes. Yeah. In how? <laughs> <laughs> number two, think about number two. But what she said was true. Go in her context. She said, because we need healing. Definitely. That, what, what, how, hmm? He's a healer. Yes, because he's a healer. That's what we need, his healing. But... but how do we summarize this? So let me help you. Number two, when you get healing, you have peace. That is the second reason why we spend time with God, because we need his peace, a peace that the world cannot give you. Peace of mind, peace of soul, a peace of emotion. <laughs> sababu yenyewe ulisema ni kweli sababu mtu anaponywa mtu ana, anaenda kwa Mungu ili aponye anapoteza ana, sio kupoteza lakini anampa Mungu muda sababu aweze kupata nini uponyaji kama vile Diana ametoka pana uponyaji wake mimi nimetoka pana uponyaji wangu nimepata nini amani <laughs> ulisema kweli lakini kwa nataka tupate ile neno yenyewe yenyewe na maana hicho ile yenyewe ilisema Mutu akipona anapata nini? Amani. When you are healed, you get peace. Let's read this. John chapter 16, verse 33. John 16, 33. The Bible says, These things I have spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. <laughs> The direction, all the instructions, all the guidances that he has given us to follow, the commandments that he has, he, has, he has sent to us, has given us to follow, is the motive, the second motive, is that we may have peace. Kila umuongozo wote wana metupatia ya maisha, namu ya kutembea, zizi ya kumufata, zizi ya kumutafuta, zizi ya kuongea nae, namu ya kutembea, namu ya kumufata. Namna ya kuongoza, namna ya kuvala, namna ya kusema, namna ya ya kumpendeza. Njia ya pili yenyewe inatuma kenye kinatuma tunampa muda wetu ni sababu tupate amani ambao dunia haizi tupatie mama mtu. Hata mganga ameandika barua pacha hivi kwamba utakufana ile miguu na umaka, utakufana ile mgongo na umaka, kitu kina umaka sio na kuyapo tunakuambia na kuona. Pepo ambayo muganga hawezi toa. So unapika hapa kwa mbele pepo na hii. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Unapata nini? Amen. Anasema muyohana, sura yake kumina sita, mutari wa makumi tato na tatu kwamba, atakupa amani ambayo dunia hawezi kukatia. As iyo amani njua jituwahidi katika yote. He says here in John chapter 16, 33, that he has promised, he has spoken all those things that we have peace. Are we together? And again, in the world, you have tribulation, but take courage. I have overcome the world. Unasikia? Eti katika hii ulimwengu, kuna nini? Kuna tribulation, kuna mateso. Lakini kwamba yeye, alishinda iyo mateso. Alishinda magonjo. Let's listen to this. Let's Yeah, okay. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this. Are we together? He says here, Mama, that if you follow the same sentence in the world, there is tribulation. What is tribulation? Could be sickness. Could be, could, could be emotions. Negative emotions. Could be negative thoughts. Could be betrayal. Could be denial. Could be challenges like my brother was saying. He said, I can't breathe. Eh, who, 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 
This is an American, an American, an American, an American wrist by now. I can't breathe. Who was that one? George, 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 who was that? The name again. The man who there. I can't breathe. George, George Floyd. <laughs> George Floyd. <laughs> I can't breathe. Huh? Well, how do we, how, how are they calling it? Africa, Af we need African one. No, no, no. African, African, something like that. African, Af African liberation, something like that. In the country, how do you, how do they con 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 conceptualize it? You mean the name they give to German? No. When they want to mean it for Africans, that African they be free. How do they in that context of that I can't breathe? How do they call it again? You can't, you can't remember. But we remember, I can't breathe. When the police is, is putting the hands here, he was saying, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. That black man. Black, black men, black, black, black men matter. Black blood matter. Black life matter. Black life matter. <laughs> Clap for Morrison. I was looking for that for that context. Black, and black life matters. And the maisha ya muti mweusi inafaa. Njoku njoku vile wa yisemu. Wakati we wanti ma, I can't breathe. Yisemu wapendwa. Katika in this world there is tribulation. Sickness, hatred, racism, and anything else. The Bible says the peace that we get from Jesus, the world cannot give. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you when you go in the office and you hit racism there, you hit people at the working place who say to you, You can't help me. Why are where are you coming from? You are black. Where are you? Who, who, who gave birth to you? Oh, you can't help me in the institution where you go. America knows what I'm talking about. Do you understand? And you say, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. Black, black life matters. Hallelujah. It's a problem of racism. But where you only find peace is in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Wakati unakutangana na shida kama ile kwenye unapata tu amani ni katika Yesu Christo. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says this here that worry not because he has conquered that world. And he said here in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 11 28, come to me, all of you who encounter such situations, who are burdened, and I will give you rest. He took all on the cross. We are no longer people to bear it, but to bring, to take it with him, for him to give us the help we need. Amen, amen. Eh? When we feel we can't breathe, he's our peacemaker. Hallelujah. Because our life, our life matters. Masha yetu, inia mahana sana, inatakiwa na ye, ye ya naishugulikia, ana lazima na haja na masha yetu sisi. Hata wengine watubagwe, hata magonjwa iwepo. Anasema tu siogope. Even if a sickness come, mama, even if problem you hit problem in your marriage, with problem at the working place, wherever you go, rejection and so on, you can't breathe. He's the peacemaker. Hallelujah. He's the peacemaker. Brother, he's a peacemaker. Brother with a peacemaker. Mama is a peacemaker. And when you can't breathe. Hallelujah. He provides peace for you. Read that another one, Galatians chapter 5, 22. No, no, John 14, 27. John 14, 27. Because Galatians 5, 22 says, I have only one, I will say there, it is about peace. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is peace. Peace. When you have no peace in you, according to Galatians 5, 22, when you have no peace in you, when you know you have no peace in you means there is an, an, uh, 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 there is a, 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 an absence 
absence of the Holy Spirit. Because peace is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you feel you are disparate, when you feel that you are alone in life, the presence of the Holy Spirit is not in you. So any devil will hit you, will catch you, any devil will play on you, any calamity will hit you, and will remain disparate because you are alone. Mugawagalatia Sura Talum Taro Shirina Bill in Asema, Yakwamba, and Asema Ilema Tunda Kenda Yaroho. Asema Roho Tunda Yaroho Ambayo niya 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 tatu nutunda ya tatu na itwa aman. Na uki kosa aman in a Galatians 5.22. Uki kosa aman aman ya roho ki kosa on a jo kumba rom kifu haikondania. Wakatu na jisiki on a pata shido na skiona ipeleka wepe, una sikia machungu, una sikia ani tajua, una sikia a wale watu ni swasa besha ketana, ina fanya ule mama ule. When you feel you have people now, you are feeling, are ah, those people what they have did, you have done for me? What they did, my, my heart is, 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 is blowing. I'm feeling like, like, like exposed, uh, uh, expl- uh, 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 explosive. Know that the spirit of the Lord, we are not with God. If you die at that time, we go in hell. Because the peace of the Lord is not in you. Amen. Eh? Read again. Read again in John 14, John 14, 27. John 14, 27. The Bible says, Peace I have with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Do I give to you? Do not let your heart be troubled or let it be fearful. Eti musiache mioro yenu mdayana inaungia dami ya trouble. Unachuliza ni nini hii tene na tafika? Hii magonjwa tena ni yae? Eti wana mnijua. Kabla ifika ni yajua. Lakini ukue na amani ya roho. But be in peace. Have the peace of mind. Have the peace of your heart. No matter what comes, don't ask yourself why this. In the First Thessalonians chapter five, the Bible says in sixteen that the Lord knows anything before it, before it happens for you. It's for His glory is there. Thank Him in every circumstance. circumstance. That's what He says. Amen. Amen. Say together with me, peace. peace. Amen. Peace. Take again Colossians three fifteen. The Bible says. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful no matter what. (laughs) Amen. Welcome. Do we have anything to blame God for? No. No. We can't blame God that we are sick. Why God did, did, did accept this? No, he knows. He's only the one who can give you peace in that situation. And if you forsake him, you go away of him. You move away of, of, his, uh, of his presence. Can I tell you, mama, mama, mama? Now you, you, are, you are letting the space to the devil to hit you to it. You are giving the space to the devil. When you, can't, you feel you can't, you, can't, you can't approach others because of a certain situation, means that the devil is now, is now fisting. Is clapping in the hand. I have reached my destination. This is what I wanted. When you get a problem in your marriage, you reach a time where I can't, I, I can't, I can't pray. The devil clap. Thank you, thank you. And he said he knows also the name of the Lord. He says thank you, Jesus. He said he also he claps in the name of Jesus. He knows it that name. The devil. Thank you because this is mine now. This is mine. I have reached to what I wanted. Because when you can't pray, you can't come out of it. The, the decision what, what you make when you can't pray under an affliction, they are very wrong. That's why many, when they have no child, no children, that when they go under such, such under circumstances, they go to Marabu, they go to witchcraft to search for solution. Because they have no time to talk to pray. They, don't, they can't spend time with God. They don't need God's direction. 
because of lack of peace. The spirit of the Lord is not unto them. Ndio kwa maana hawa wakati wanafika hapa wengine wanafanya nini mama mtombo sababu kule Yesu awamwaminie kwamba njo amani ya kweli ni kwake tu njoo amani natoka. Unakutana wengine wanapata magonjwa ngufu wanaenda njoo kwa chao. Kule njoo watapata amani. Ule mchao na anakutilia madawa wengine mama mmoja alikuwa anashuhudia vile aliendaka kwa chawi ule mchao akaenda njoo kumwambia eti alale kwanza na aenda alikuwa sa amani alikuwa hana mtoto asi eti anasema twende sasa kumchao ndio kutatosha dawa ya kuzala baada kule kumchao ule mchao anaanza kulala na ule mwanamke ndio anamkia sasa mbi mau jua pita mu deliverance ule mama deliverance alipata kwa ule kwa 10 million ndio deliverance alimfanyia ilikuwa nguvu sana ushuhuda wake kwenda nilipata jata ilikuwa maajabu did you know i'm giving a testimony of what i watched today from a, from a certain a certain church which i was watching uh, their their preview their review you know a, a lady who was suffering from a giving give, producing giving a fruit of womb and then uh, for lack of peace they have no peace because jesus is not they, they didn't want to, to follow the guidance of christ now they don't wait for the peace of Christ because they don't they don't go they didn't go through their his guidance they have no peace now they want their own peace into the world and then they 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 they, they put their the argument together with the wife the wife and husband to look for a, a, a sorcerer a witchcraft a doctor a witch doctor to heal the the, the, the lady that she could get back what did, what did they do mama the, that lady traveled to the witch went to a witch doctor and the man remained home with children with, with, with uh, protecting guide, guiding their uh, their 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 the, the riches because they had money now reaching to the beauty doctor brother you know what, what happened do you know what is happening what happened that, that witch doctor is asking the lady to sleep with her before she get and that that was sleeping with her that is the medicine of her to get to get to getting children nothing is coming out of it now the children the, 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 the lady is coming back home the situation wasn't and then the man who sent the, the wife there he knew they were they was explained what happened now it became a big challenge in home and he slept with you it became a big challenge now you, you go back to him to remain your, your husband now you are the one who sent him to which doctor that's what they did you wanted a child but nothing came out of it the deliverance of this that lady in that church was very i think i i, I shared it on my on my blog i love that much is very interactive very interactive the peace we only get peace in jesus christ the world the peace that the world you ca- cannot give you which is provided only into christ amani ambao dunia haizi kupatia uchao haizi kupatia uloza haizi kupatia we get we get it only into christ witchcraft sorcerer occultist voodoo marine spirit being which sorcerer cannot give it to you only jesus can provide that peace Hallelujah. Yeye ndio anazalisha wasio sala. The barren one like a, like a Anna is only the one who gives children to the barren one. Hallelujah. Like Rachel, the mother of the mother of, of, of Joseph and Benjamin. Hallelujah. Before Leah, Leah who laughed at her that you are useless even though you are the love the loved one. But even at the last second of her life God gave her at the fruit of the womb Rachel the peace we search only we find it in Jesus Christ Amen he said Amen to Rachel to by Jesus Christ Amen say the peace we get it all in Christ Number 3 Why do you think number 3 we why do we you think number 3 about number 3 why do you why do we spend time with god we are shaking the truth sorry the truth we are shaking the truth searching the truth yeah that could be also good but actually it's not the true answer here why do we spend god, time with god number 3 to have the everlasting life yeah that could be the answer 
Fikiria ya mara tatu mamutom. Kwa nini tunapana tuna tuna tunatia muda katika Mungu tunajipana kujitolea tunampa Mungu muda wetu kwa nini ya mara tatu point ya tatu we, we show our faith that could be also an answer but actually it's not the true answer here sio ndio ya kweli ya lakini nayo ni 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 ni, ni, ni answer nzuri why to have a relationship relationship with him yes that could be also a good answer truly it's one of the answers but actually it's not the true one why brother love yeah love could be he loved us for god loved all of us he gave his only begotten son for you to don't perish but to have the, the everlasting life in the same like you said before that's true it seems true but not the right one here practice i'm trying see brain brainstorm protection is still guarded mm. cannot come there Let me come with it. The third one is to get his strength. Him to strengthen us in our troubles. When he gives us peace, you can get peace. But you to get strength to move on, you need an impartation. That fresh anointing of him. You can get peace, but you remain at the same level. You enter peace. but for you to move on you need an entertain new a new anointing you need a fresh touch hallelujah you need a, a, a new energy new strength into christ yani namba ya tatu tunaenda katika bwana tunampa muda wetu ili atupatie nguvu za kufanya ili ambao tunaweza kufanya hata katika magonjwa hata kama mgonjwa ndio anakuambia amka tu uende atoko atoko nasikia mguu na luma uende tu wende ukanisa hata unasikia na umo he's the one who said morsen even if you feel you you are disparate but go to pray he strengthens even if you feel you are you have pain somewhere he says to you just go to work if you didn't go the bible says if you did not work you will not eat he sent me you to go hallelujah even if when you feel even if you get guests into your home you know this guests they are here on the earth but you are going to heaven for you to move on to leave leave them into home and all to bring them to take them with you and go to pray for set the kingdom of god first you need the strength of him we read the bible here luke 6 Luke 6:38:40 Luke 6:38:40 The Bible says in 38 Give mm. No 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 Joshua Joshua 1:9 Joshua 1:9 Joshua 1:9 sorry Joshua the book of Joshua 1:9 The Bible says Be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the lord your god is with you forever and wherever you go amen isaiah chapter 12 verse 2 the bible says surely god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid the lord the lord god is my strength and my song he has become my salvation Amen amen. When you leave everything into his heart and you say father you are only my what? You are only my guider. You are only my guidance. You are only my savior, my salvation. My strength is you. Hallelujah. You are my shelter. When you move out it is him who gives you strength to move. When you come in is him who gives you strength to come in. When you eat is him who provides for you. When you go to work, you know everything you do is spiritual for you when you have him as your strengthener. Hallelujah. Take again 
Take again, First uh, Peter 5.10. First Peter 5.10. The Bible says, And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. <laughs> he will make you strong, firm, First Peter 5.10. He will make you strong, firm, and steadfast. The God of all it who promised us the eternity of all ability and power, of eternal glory, Christ who suffered, even if you suffer, mm, that in your suffering, he's the one who gives you strength. Kwamba mumateso yako yenjo anakupatia ngufu. Njoo pwenti ya tatu kwamba, anatupatia ngufu. Hata ukisikia na gonjo, anasikia mamuto mbo. Leo, labda singenda kumo, leo kwa hapa. Labda haunge, inge kwa soko mtu wakawenda hauko mkrisu mwenye imani, labda haunge kwa hapa leo. Nuhu likuwa nalisikia, hauta wenza huwenza. Sindiyo? Tate hange kuwa hapa mwenye atoka mwopita leja. Lakini anasema apana. Natuwa hata ye, mwenye ni mtosha mwune ni yeye ule yeso. Mwenye ni mpatia mbani ni yeye. I was saying this, even the, the, our, our, our mother, the grandmother who was here, the mother-in-law of mama, who came out of, uh, of, of hospital yesterday, she could, couldn't be here today. May she came, why? Because the Bible says here, I know that he says here, it's in the Bible says here in a, in a, in a, in a, what we are calling, what we are calling, what we are calling first Peter five ten that after you have suffered a little while, him, he will restore you. Who restores you? He will strengthen you. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Remember, when you have suffered a little while, that suffering could be a sickness, could be anything. When he, he, the one who took you there from where others they died, others they died of coronavirus, they died of any various sicknesses. But you, you are alive, mama. No matter how the corona came into your home, but you are still alive at least. Others they died. Hai jalisi vile ulipigwa labda na corona, au nienda kama gonga nini, lakini wengine walienda huyo kitanda walikufia mama mtu, lakini wewe uko na mtu. Kijambo la kukuru mu, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is he not a fantastic God, this one? Now, let's think about, no, we can read also Psalms uh, 17, 26, uh, 73, 26, Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Hallelujah. Aseme, mwili wangu uneza fail. Aseme, magonjwa. The failure of, of, the, of the flesh can be through sickness, through challenges, brother, through accident, through whatever you go through, psychological challenge, whatever you go through. But the, my Bible says here that God is our strength and he strengthens our, he strengthens our heart and, uh, and, my, and he strengthens our, and he's our portion forever. He's our provider. He's our supply, as a, our supplier forever. Amen, amen. He supplies for, a, for, all, for us when we are disparate. Hallelujah. When in need, he's our provider. He's our giver. Hallelujah. How do we say about this God? Say God. Say, tell me God. You are my strength. You are my provider. Oh, you are my, my riches. You are my strength. I need you. Amen. Now, let me tell you, ask you, what could be number five? This is the last point. What could be number five? Think about numbers. Nini vienge kuwa kwenti ya tamu? Kwa nini tunatoa muda wetu mbele ya mungu? Lazima tutoa muda wetu mbele ya mungu. Why do we spend time? Do we have to spend time with God? Why must we spend time with God? Why do we spend time with God? Twenty at time, the five, the fifth point, and this is the last one. Why, why again, brother? For me, I can suggest that mm. to provide for us. To provide for us. 
That could be a good answer. You were in the right way. Yeah. You were in the right way. But are you can Munji and Zul. But who else has, has some, some who, who will complete him? Then you have to complete I call Munji and Zul. Think on, on his optic. And he says that because he's our, what do you say? He's a provider to provide. Because he's, a, he's, a, he's our provider to provide for us. Provide our way. Who ate it about we are and are not to see us. Iko not going to see us. We are not going to see us. We are not going to see us. We are not going to see who summarizes it? <laughs> yes, it is. It, 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 good. He said, she said that it's God who, 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 who puts things together. Yes, still it's about God. God is the God, God who provides. But who, who, has a, who has another idea better than that? He's our creator. He creates us. That's why we need his blessing. That's why we need, we need his provision. Who, who can bring this? Why do we spend time with God? I think you have, you have brother, you have, you have answered in a good way. It was a good response. Because you said, because he's our provider. When God provides for us, what does it mean? Mama, what does it mean when God provides for us? Wakati mungu anatupatia. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's that the meaning. <laughs> Actually, it could be the meaning of provision. That you say. Here and there, you have a meaning of provision. Like, in, uh, who can say it in a, who, who can, why mungu atisema analeta, analeta kwa, ye ndu ana, analeta. Man, I can gun. Yeah, in a semani, Namna Gant means I sem up an omni in a pre wake up, wake and dear mod. It was a good response, but how do we, how do we put it in a, in a in the right context? I'm scared. Yeah, did therefore it become a foreign for a foreign harm? For at and go and for us and give us the day and see us for the this week. This is Henrik God. So the for the till here, um, and they ask up to us the top for him, the two of for him. Men the first the four gear the first teacher. Yeah, directly, directly. They are they are up. They are up. May they just be served here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have something in number eight. The rent The need. Can we say the need? He us what we need. The need. Yeah, he gives us what we need. He provides. <laughs> but but that, is that not the, 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 the right context? It's still the same. You're saying he provides. He gives us what we need. Uh, wh how do we call it? He's bringing good, 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 good responses. But how do we call it? Biblically. How do we call it biblically? In a Bible right context, how do we call it? Because he blesses us. You said it before and I told you that was not the first one. <laughs> you remember, brother? <laughs> because he blesses us. That's true. That's number five. He's only the one who blesses us. Let's read this. Let's read this. Let's read this. Luke chapter 6, verse 38 and 40. The Bible says, Give and it will and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. 
For with the measure you use, it will be also measured to you. 39 says, he also told them his par this parable. Can the blind lead the blind? Will they not both fall into a pit? 14. The, the student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. Amen. The Bible here is, is not saying that God to bless us, it will fall up, it will fall from above. No. But it says the measure that we measure others. He doesn't say that when we pray, money will come from above. <laughs> we need money, brother. But even if we pray the whole night, it cannot come from above. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are praying here. We are, we are summarizing. We are praying to, to, to go all together home now. Because the time has, uh, has, has, uh, has been jealous for us now. Yeah, you can see those, those, they start now. Mm. <laughs> you see, eh? those, those blessings, the, the Bible says here, the way you bless others, you give to God. Your time, your tithes, your offerings, you give to poor, you give your time to God, you commit yourself to God, to the work of God, the more those blessings come to you. The more you give your time to God to work, in the Bible says, Paul says, if you did not work, you will not eat. So when we pray here, we are not praying for the money to fall from above. We are praying for God to bless us, our, the work of our hands. And that's why we say, the measure we measure the others for, uh, through this is the same measure we've been measured measure. means the way we take the others the way also will be taken if we bless with the with the, the others and we will be also blessed by them amen eh? our blessings are dependent to the other we are interdependent over to the to each and every and and, uh, and everybody and that's why we need Christ love among ourselves Baraka zetu hapa vile hatuambia kwamba tatoka mbinguni hata tukiombe pesa zitatokea mbinguni lakini kwamba tuungane sisi wote kwa umoja ili kile ambacho wewe taka mtu akifanyie umfanyie yake na wewe kama ulipata baraka uanze kubariki uanze kujitoa moja ya kumi, toa cha kumi, toa, toa matoleo anza kutoa mkazi ya Mungu hata kupata transport hapo kwenda kukanisa iko kujitoa mbele ya Mungu hiyo Mungu anakumbuka hiyo anakubariki juu ya hiyo even you to, to, to spend your time to come here the whole night praying, God, Mama, this is, you will get a reward out of the healing and the heaven you will go. The God you talk to, also, the, the Bible says that the blessings also will follow you. <laughs> this is the way to get money. <laughs> amen, amen. Praise God. Can we clap for that, God? Thank you for these prayers of today. Brother, pray for us, then we summarize.